Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'll lead you step by step through the ABRSM Theory grades. We're now going to look at paper C, the third paper of the 2016 past papers for grade 2. There are loads of resources available to help you on my website. If you go to SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets. They're available in US letter or A4 and they contain all the information that you need to know for this um, grade. There's also a page with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and if you want to refresh your memory and do some revision, all of the subjects that are in the grade two music theory and practice workbook, I'll go through each one of those exercises with you on those tutorials. Also on my website you can access information about the books that I have available. I've written how to take your ABRSM music theory exam and it's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for your exam and also how to best make use of the time once you're in the exam room taking your exam paper. So if you go to SharonBill.com it's all there for you. If you can give me a like that would be fab, that would be encouraging to me and subscribe to my channel to keep updated, there's loads more to come. And so if you grab your pencil, you need a sharp pencil, I've got a mechanical pencil, you need an eraser and you need a ruler and then we'll turn in the booklet. So if you turn with me to paper C which is found on page 9 and we'll have a look at this exam paper. I do recommend that you try this on your own first of all, answer all of the questions, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong, it's always better to learn by your mistakes and that way you'll learn it more thoroughly and now I'll go through this with you so you can check your answers through and understand how it should be answered to score maximum points. So question one asks us to add the time signature to each of these five melodies so one two three four five you just need to be careful because each one of these will require a different time signature the first thing we need to do is decide what the bottom number will be so we need to decide are we counting in crotchet beats or quarter notes quaver beats or eighth notes or minim beats which are half notes and so I suggest you glance through at an easy bar that gives you a quick easy answer and I think this last bar will show you we're divided into twos we're in groups of two here so we know that um, we're counting in crotchet beats and we can see that there are one two three four crotchet beats so our bottom number is four and our top number also is four we've got one crotchet beat or quarter note two three four we can see that it's divided and grouped in that manner and the maths will add up that way let's have a look at the next bar now here the next exercise sorry here this bar gives us a clue straight away because everything's beamed together and then this first bar also gives us a clue we're counting in quaver beats or eighth notes because we've got a quaver rest a quaver rest a quaver note so we've got eighth 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 so that would be counting in quaver beats or eighth notes and there are one two three but we also know that because three eight is the only time signature where we can just beam everything together in one bar Let's have a look at the next one. And so just glancing ahead, it's pretty obvious that we're counting in minim beats or half notes because that is far too long a bar to be counting in crotchets or quavers in quarter notes or eighth notes. And we can also see that everything nicely falls into minim beats or half notes. So we're counting in minim beats or half notes. So our bottom number is two. We've got one, two, three, four. It's most obvious in this last bar. Let's go back though. One, two, three, four. One and a half, two, three, four. So four over two. There we go. Next one. So this first bar gives us the answer nice and easily. We're counting in crotchet beats again. You can see that it wouldn't work if we were counting in minim beats or half notes because that would be one and then we'd only have half left we haven't got enough per bar 
This bar tells us straight away as well that we're counting in three crotchet beats per bar. One, two, three, one, two, three. So three over four. So I would perhaps use those two bars rather than this one where the triplet might confuse you at a first glance. Okay, this last one, if we just glance through, again, we can see we're counting in crotchet beats or quarter notes because we're dividing into groups of two and we're just easily seeing each crotchet beat. And this last bar, so we know, well, first of all, we know that that bottom number is four. But this last bar here gives us a nice clue. We've got one crotchet bit here, one quarter note, and here's a rest of the same value. We've got two, two crotchet bits per bar. And again, you can see there's one beat, half and a half, four quarters make one, one beat, three quarters and a quarter. And you can just see one, two, one, two. So that's that question complete. Let's now look ahead at the next part. Now the next part asks us to write a four bar rhythm using the given opening. Now from 2018 onwards this will no longer be part of your exam paper and so we'll just skip ahead. This is no longer on the exam papers from 2018 onwards so we'll just miss this one out because it no longer applies. And let's look at question three. Question three asks us to rewrite the following melody and we've got to group or beam these notes correctly. And so the time signature is what we need to look at first of all because that will tell us how to group these notes. We're grouping in crotchet beats or quarter notes. And so the rule is that we always need to show where each new crotchet beat falls. We're grouping in quarter note or crotchet beat groups. So I'm just going to go on and write the note heads out. Let's do everything that we can before we need to start thinking. I'm going, they've drawn us the bar lines but I'm going to keep all the notes aligned so I don't get lost and forget which one we're on. Let's keep things as simple as we can so we don't get confused. Here we go. There we go. So this one won't be changed at all. That's a whole note or a semi-brief and it's tied to a crotchet to one beat note. That doesn't need beaming at all. And now let's do a bit of the thinking before we get bogged down with stems and beams. So we're counting in crotchet groups. So half and two quarters makes one. So we will beam that together. Half plus a half makes one. We'll beam that together. Three quarters and a quarter makes one. We'll beam that together. And so we've already done the thinking. We just now need to do what we've figured out. And so you can see we've shown that one represents the quaver or the eighth note. And then we add another line to show the semi-quavers or the sixteenths. And I've kept it reasonably level. Except I'll perhaps use a ruler. Shall I do that again with a ruler? Let's do that again. I've kept it level because we're beginning and ending on the same note, so there's no sort of upwards or downwards direction that needs to be shown. There we go, that's better. Okay, here we go. So half and a half are beamed together. And that's that done. And then we've got three quarters and a quarter. Again, we're not going in any upwards or downwards direction, so I'll just keep those level. And then we need to show the semi-quaver with another little tail there. Okay, let's do the thinking now. We've got quarter, 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 quarter. Four quarters make a whole, so we can beam those together. Three quarters and a quarter make one beat, so they can go together. And then the two beat note won't be changed. That went a bit slanted. Can't seem to draw straight lines today. Let's try again. There we go. Use a ruler by all means. I think here more haste, less speed is in place. And then we need to show that they are semi quavers or 16th notes with another beam. There we go. And then these two can be joined together. We've got the dot, and now that one needs to be shown as a semi quaver. There we go. 
So if you do all your thinking first, it's not so bad. Just take it a step at a time and approach it logically. Let's have a go at this next one. So we're rewriting the notes as treble clef uh, to begin with, and we now need to make them into the bass clef, and we've got to keep the pitch the same. So middle C is always our anchor point. So if we think there's middle C, we're on the A flat below middle C. There's middle C, we're on the A flat below middle C, and that should prevent you getting your octaves wrong. So here, we're on the D above middle C, so there's middle C, we're on the D above next door. Here we're on the F above middle C, and so we're going to need some ledger lines to get it into bass clef at exactly the same pitch, otherwise you risk losing um, points because you're an octave out. So C, D, E, F, there we go. Here we're on the B below middle C. We flatten it of course, but we'll worry about that afterwards. So middle C is here. We don't actually need the ledger line because there's the B below middle C, which doesn't require a ledger line. And there's our flat. So this is the E flat above middle C. So here's C, D, E, and then we just add the flat. So use middle C as your anchor point. Okay, it says in which major key are all of these notes found? So the clues that we've got are we've got a B flat, an E flat, and an A flat, and all of those are part of E flat major. E flat major got a key signature B flats, E flats, and A flats. So it's E flat major. There we go, and that's that one answered now. I hope that's been helpful to you. We'll look at the next questions in the next video. If you can give me a like, that'd be really fab. That'd be encouraging to me. Subscribe to the channel because there's loads more to come. So stay updated. And please do go to SharonBill.com. It's all there for you to help you in your preparation and in your studies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.